Hello everyone, uh, this is Shukant and uh, ah, sorry, there was some uh, mistake that happened here. I forgot to play, I mean, I, I forgot to click the stream button and as a result of that, I just, I was explaining all this problem, I ended up solving the entire problem here, <laughs> but turns out I, was, I had done it without going live. Fine, not a problem, better late, uh, better late than never, so let's, let's, uh, begin like this let's let's just make sure that we are really live mm, let me check it I think I have to do, do that or else I might end up opening it once again totally offline you just and take your time to you know, take a look at the finished problem as it stands over here and uh, while you do that I'll just uh, check up if I'm actually Mm, yes, I think we are live. It's going on. And uh, sure, let me just have this in and uh, check it out right here. Okay, I think we are live not a problem you can let me know any any doubts that you're having uh you want me to cover over here in the chat and uh i'll just try to make sure that this thing is covered in the future so uh, okay so after ensuring that we are actually live let's go ahead and come down to a problem so um this here is a problem which uh, one of you had actually asked me in the comments section for me to solve and explain properly I uh, had already explained a lot of times the rectangle method for drawing the ellipse but uh, turns out uh, the, the method for actually drawing the parallelogram method for ellipse is, is uh, difficult, more difficult for you because some different kind of commands are, uh, are needed for this particular problem. So, so the finished problem is going to be like this. Uh, let's, let's just keep this aside and start solving this problem. Yeah. This, this is a little bit close problem and uh, go ahead and uh, like this uh, it's not position of planes this is uh, instead of engineering tests let's go with ellipse and parallel uh, um, method so this is what once you do that, you can see your uh, appeared. Let's move around here. Let's just uh, it accordingly. And uh, now, so let's go ahead. So just to make it clear to everyone who is watching, I'm I'm, I'm going to be using all the commands instead of going with the, uh, the icons. Clicking on the icons, GUI is something that I avoid using uh, in the AutoCAD because I feel that this is a, a time-consuming process. So let's go ahead and um, check out what are the, how to complete this problem. So in the middle, I'll be explaining all the commands and uh, the method to give that to activate that particular command. So just keep your eyes here in the command line, and this is where all the action is going to happen when it when it's uh, going to come to the commands. And uh, what I'm drawing here on the screen is going to be based on the commands. So we have to draw a parallelogram with wherein uh, one of its edges is one twenty mm and another edge is 80 mm and uh, oh okay so there's some someone named alan hello sir uh so please do without drawing lines uh, to the other side mirror it no alan i i don't think mirror command is uh, going to be possible over here because uh, mirror command usually works when there is a, a clear cut line upon which you can mirror all the selected objects Whereas here in the parallelogram method, it, that, that kind of line doesn't exist. And so we'd have to rely on the other options. So I have a special command in mind for you. Uh, I'll, be explaining to, I'll, I'll be explaining this right now. So just uh, uh, let me just complete this. And at the end of this, if you still have any doubts, uh, just let me know in the comments. So let's uh, start the command. Now uh, start solving the problem. We'll start with the line command. I'll just type yell enter. And I'll start at the bottom here somewhere here and i need a horizontal line so i'm going to just um, 
So I will have to activate a few the drawing the So that the option that I activated just now is called as a dynamic uh, input. So the moment I give gel enter and click over here, I am going to get the length of the line as well as the angle. So the way to shift between the angle and length is by pressing the tag. Okay. And once you enter one of the values, let's say for example, I'm entering the length. So after entering the length, you should not press enter. You have to type tab and then the length is going to be fixed now and we will have an option to decide what is the angle. So angle for this is horizontal, so I need an angle of zero. Now, since both of them have been defined, I can press tab and uh, click. Now, uh, you see he's asking an angle of 75 degrees. So let me just press escape, type yell enter again, uh, click at the end point here. And this time I need a length of 80, press tab. And you can see the length has uh, become fixed. And uh, need an angle, angle is 75, and instead of pressing space, I will press enter. So these are the two lines, okay. Now I just have to copy these two lines in order to complete our parallel program. So let me just copy this, the same point, I'm going to give it please see it here. And then copy this line, okay, and take it from this end point, click it, press enter. So that is going to complete my parallel program. So we will also be needing the mid midpoints. So I'm going to copy this to the midpoint. This as well, I'm going to copy to this point. The copy command is C O enter or C P enter. So now once I have the parallelogram complete and I have the lines which are dividing it into division, not equal divisions, but uh, halves, you can say. Uh, then I'll have to divide this line over here and this line into a uh, fixed number of divisions equal divisions to be precise so i'm just going to trim and remove this and this okay. so these two lines i will need to divide them into equal number of divisions so let me go ahead and uh, do this so the command i'm going to use is div so div enter click on this line now for this particular problem i'm going to be using five uh, equal divisions so i find out so once again div enter click on the line that's five you can see I have created five equal divisions here. Okay, so now I just have to copy these over to this point. I have to copy this entire line over to this line. Also, I'm going to extend this so that I get more. So yeah, just zoom this over so that I have maximum space. All right, so the next thing I'm going to use is this, and I'm going to place this. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Copy this points. And, uh, copy this. this. Now the way to go is start from the bottom. So one, two. Four, then uh, you have to come down with six, seven, eight, and nine. And then the way to go over from the horizontal is first. So this one is going to be called one dash, this one is two dash, three dash, and so on. Dash, dash, and nine dash. Once we have all these ready, we'll have to proceed with the drawing over. Okay. So take line command back here. All these points need to converge at the top middle point and the points over here they need to converge at the bottom once this is done we'll have to take the intersection point of one and one dash so in order to do that select this type ex enter click on this line again select this enter click select this 
enter click enter select this enter click enter okay now the same process we need to do on the other side now here uh, if you if you have seen the rectangle method i had used the mirror command and it uh, very easily i was able to mirror it to the other side but in this particular case that is not the case we will not be able to use the mirror command and uh, we'll have to rely on recreating this right here so let's take all this so this is point when you are clicking be careful the snap points correct snap points need to be selected otherwise you might end up having a lot of error in the drawing that you make so this procedure done again select this ex enter click enter select enter click enter enter select okay. select this enter enter okay. select this enter Fine. So all these points that I have obtained, they need to be named now. So I'm going to call this as P1, this is P2, this is P3, P4, P5. Okay, so we need to name this P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. And then you need to continue on this side. P6, 7, 8. Okay, so these points, if I'm joining them, I will get uh, half of the ellipse. Now, in order to get the bottom half, once again, I'll have to do some huge modification. So, copy this inclined line and we need to keep its end point to the points that I just got it P6, P7, P8, and P9. Once I got this, I need to select these two lines type tr into and then i will just have to trim these lines till that those those uh, center lines all right now i need to double these lengths one way to do this the easier way is to use copy command use copy command and uh, copy it down the second method which is going to take lesser time is to use the lengthen command in the lengthen command you have an option called percentage so with percentage what you can do is you can increase the size of the line depending on its current size if i give 200 percent that means the line's size is going to get doubled up if i give 100 it's going to remain the same if i give 50 percent it length is going to become half in this particular case i want the length to be doubled that's why i'll be taking 200 so type 200 enter. once again len L E N enter then i'm going to choose percent and i'm going to get 200 enter then all i have to do is click on each of these lines once alone on the lower side not on the upper side so once i'm done doing this i'm i have already got uh, the copies of these points on the lower side and the copies of these points uh, on the lower side i'm going to be naming them slightly differently so these are going to be called as number so, there it is. so this is p1 dash and the copy of p2 on the lower side is p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash i dash dash seven dash eight dash nine so, so now we have got all our points in place once you have all the points you just have to draw uh, a smooth line through all these points for that we are going to use the spline command spl enter and select the points one by one selecting the endpoints of all these so if i click Wrongly, just press U enter and uh, enter it. So, choose the snap points. You don't choose perpendicular or anything like that. So, 
I'm just going to go ahead and use curves here. So this is a curve that I needed. I'm going to just match the properties of this. There we go. So this, we have the ellipse drawn using the parallel lower ground. We can just go ahead and uh, give some dimensions as well. Um, I'm just going to go for 28 and I'm going to use, okay. I'm just going to use the align point, press enter, this, press double enter, and I'll just press this. That. And I'll, of course, be needing the angular dimension. And I'm going to just match the properties so that this, because these are dimensions, they are more important. So, so this is the solution to the problem of uh, ellipse drawn by a parallelogram method. I hope um, this is clear to you. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section, and I will try to uh, try to clarify that doubt in whenever I'm streaming next. Um. So that's it for now and I think there are no more doubts. So Alan Miracle. Alan, I think uh, I've explained uh, you how to get this done. The mirror command is not possible with you. You'll have to rely on other commands like copy or lengthen in order to complete it. Mm, I guess that's it. I'm gonna stop the stream and uh, please let me know in the comments if you want any more problems to be solved please share the channel to the friends to your friends who, who might be needing it there's a complete playlist containing almost all types of problems from engineering graphics and um, i hope that this is going to be useful thank you